On January 4th, 2009, uh, I was playing dodgeball at church here with the youth group, and I s slipped and fell, landed on my face, and I never got up. I was paralyzed from the neck down, and um, I had surgery to, to repair my neck, but uh, I, I had a lot of uh, relearning how to move um, my entire body. Um, it's a really long story. I'm not going to go into it, but uh, uh, I do want to share with you what happened afterwards. Um, I, I ended up walking out of the hospital in 19 days, um, which was about two weeks prior to um, the doctors and nurses expecting me to be able to get out of bed. And uh, three weeks later, I had a son, Daniel, was born. And after that point, I was pretty much done. Uh, I, I was completely out of energy. I didn't really have anything left. Um, and the next couple months, I was left um, in bed at my house um, in a lot of pain um, just from the recovering process. Um, I was very depressed and I didn't spend a whole lot of time out of bed. Uh, most of my time was spent in bed. And uh, I felt like that I had a mir miraculous recovery, uh, 19 days to, to come through a paralysis like that. And uh, the doctors and nurses were amazed at, at my progress. But the pain that I was going through um, kind of confused me. So I asked my wife, Emily, I said, you know, Emily, why, why would, I don't understand, why would God put me through this, this trial? Like, why, why, am, why would I come through this so quickly and then spend twice as long in this much pain? And Emily said, do you still believe that God is good? I said, I said what? She said, do you believe that God is good? And that wasn't really the first thing on my mind right then. I was thinking about the pain. Um, but ultimately, my answer was, well, yes, obviously. You know, I can't read what the Bible says and believe it and then say that God is not good. Um, I can't recognize what Jesus did in my life um, throughout the course of my life and say that God is not good. So, Yes, God is good. And Emily said, um, then you have to know that this, whatever you're going through, um, is for his better purpose. And she directed me to a sermon that we had here at Crossview uh, by Brian Clay. Um, it was uh, it related hard times in our lives to a swing set. When you swing really high and the swing drops out from underneath you, um, you need to hold on to God the tightest right then. Uh, just like you hold on to the chains uh, on a swing set. That if you let go right then, you're going to fall. And if you hold on, uh, God will bring you back to the seat. And um, that sermon, she brought that DVD home to me and I watched it. And, and it made a lot of sense to me. But I still had this question of why. Um, and in the next few weeks... Uh, the, the question why was answered in my life. Um, I met a young man, uh, and uh, again, this miraculous coming together, uh, this young gentleman, and I was able to fill a need in his life, he was able to fill a need in my life, and then together we were able to fill the need of someone else. Um, but through that, I learned that uh, his sister had been paralyzed for two years and she wasn't able to move or talk for two years. She had a, a, an injury, a, a paralysis caused by a disease where um, over the span of two years she had learned how to raise one arm. And um, that, that one movement that she was able to do, she was able to press a button on a computer and it would communicate for her. And she was in a lot of pain and she was screaming through the night because she was in all this pain, but they, she couldn't talk to tell her family what hurt. Um, so I said, 
I'm in a lot of pain right now as well. And I said, I can come and talk to you, you know, despite the fact that my injury was totally different from hers. Um, and I really couldn't relate to being paralyzed for two years and not being able to talk. I mean, anybody that knows me knows that I can talk just fine. Um, so I was able to, to go and, and tell her family that, you know, I'm in a lot of pain right now too, but if I just do this, you know, it, it actually changes that pain feeling to a good feeling. And she raised her arm, and that is her, um, her way of saying yes. Uh, that was the only way to communicate that she had at the time. Um, and that was uh, a year ago, uh, just over a year ago that I met her. Um, at that point, they, her family told me that, thank you for coming, you know, we feel like you've given us hope for the future. Um, and in the next few uh, months, she was able to start to um, move both of her hands and pull herself up from a seated position to a standing position. Uh, she began beginning to walk with assistance. And that summer, uh, within three months of, of me meeting her, she went from just being able to move one hand to uh, she walked upstairs and slept in her own bed for the first time in, in two years. Um, so through that whole time, I, I wrote a song. And um, now I, I want to share it with you because I want to share what God did through my hard time and, and what I was able to share with, uh, with her. And now she's, she's getting to the point where um, they're hoping for a, a full recovery from her as well. So uh, this song is called Swing Set, and uh, I'd like to play it for you. A gentle hand upon my back A gentle hand, the strength I lack A little push upon this arcing path A little faith, I'm coming back I am on my swing set I am on my swing set While I soar my body lifts While the board beneath me A grip of faith runs through my hands A grip of grace back to the seed I land I am on my swing set I am on my swing set No, I'm made to cling yet. I felt the contact stop, but you. Thank you, Lord, 
the one out of the ten. Thanks to you, I'm coming back again. I am on my swing set. Still believe.